All right, so we have seen how to initiate an ARP poisoning attack on a network, and we know by now how easy it is to perform. Now, if you want to detect ARP attacks, we can install some tools that will alert us in case of an attack. We will use XARP this time. XARP is a free tool, but it also has a commercial or professional version which you can purchase. Now, the difference between the free version and the professional version is that the free version only alerts you in case there is an ARP poisoning attack while the professional version does a little more. It can protect against ARP attacks and can alert you by emails and other features. So let's go on in and notice that this tool has Kane for the computers on the network and all of them are looking fine. There is nothing wrong. So I will start Kane and initiate an ARP attack. Turn on the sniffer and I'm going to poison these two guys right here. Notice right away that XARP has initiated an alert for this ARP attack. That alert is Mac filter incoming packet, but sender Mac set to our own Mac address. So there is an ARP attack, but it tells you that it is our own Mac address initiating the attack. Now you can ignore that. No need to take a look and we can continue. Now here we can see the computers involved in the attack. One of them is launching the attack and poisoning the other two. It will keep alerting you. And here are a number of others for different things that you can review. You can navigate through the alerts, see what's happening on the network. All right, now I am going to stop right here and stop the poisoning attack. Now in the earlier demonstration, when we were scanning for the host, we didn't select any of these promiscuous mode scanners. Now another way to scan our network and to detect whether there are interfaces or computers with interfaces running on promiscuous mode, we can scan and find out which are these systems. So I'm just going to click all tests and click OK. Now, uh, it will take maybe a minute to finish. We don't have a lot of systems running anywhere on the network, so it should go pre pretty quickly here. And uh, we can see the stars or the asterisks appearing now. I have to wait to expand these. And there we are. Now we are done. So 31, 16, 8, and there we go. Mainly the interfaces running in promiscuous mode will have a star under the B31. We can see stars here, so these two systems are having interfaces running in promiscuous mode which is for an Apple computer, and this is the Gateway Cisco device. You can use Kane not only to attack the network, but also to detect which systems are running in promiscuous mode. Okay, so, so once you find computers running in promiscuous mode, it's, it's not something good. It could mean that there might be a Trojan on that system sniffing around uh, your network, or some maybe a malicious user in your network trying to sniff passwords. So when we find any promiscuous mode, and this is something that's very important. You definitely have to go to that computer and check what's going on. 